In this video, we're going to be learning about the use of a G40 while we're treating some lentils with Cruiser Max pulses from Syngenta. At the bottom of the transfer auger, there's a shield that will be used to throttle your seed flow through the transfer auger. Our target speed or seed flow with a G40 system is going to be 40 bushels a minute for your wheat, durum, or lentils, and if a G3 system is going to be 20 bushels a minute. Once you get that speed confirmed with a stopwatch in bushels per minute, you can lock the shield in position for the remainder of the season. Using that bushels per minute, we will look at a calibration chart later to determine what PSI you need to set on your applicator nozzle. This is the G40 in operation. The transfer auger is, is controlling the seed flow and delivering the seed into the applicator. As the seed exits the applicator, you can see it's not mixed thoroughly. An auger is still required to do the final mixing as the seed runs from your hopper up into your bin or truck. Running your auger at full RPM will give you the best results. When using a G40 applicator, an 8 or ideally a 10 inch auger should be used. When using a G3 applicator, a 7 or 8 inch auger will be suitable. Now let's have a look at the mix tank and pump system here. We've got a 240 liter mix tank. Attached to that, we've got a high capacity, high pro pump that is going to provide about six gallons per minute um, pumping speeds, which is going to be valuable when you're moving product from a tote into the mix tank, as well as starting to agitate the product within the mix tank itself. Looking down here, we've got a three quarter inch hose that is used to connect to a tote and used to pump into the mix tank. Moving up the side here is our return or our agitation hose that is goes from the pump into the top of the mix tank. And the supplier also ships a dip tube as well with dripless connectors. Here's just the back side showing the valve controls for the transferring system out of the totes. And a close up here, um, I'm holding the dripless connector that you could hook onto a, a seed treatment tote or into the dip tube. And that will flow into the mix tank on the bottom through a filter which normally has either a 30 or 50 mesh screen in it. So we're just looking at the different ball valves here that uh, will allow you to, to move the product in and out of the mix tank. Looking at the front of the system here, we've got a positional control on the right hand side that has an agitation position and a treating position. When we're treating, we want to move that into the treating position and open up the red valve to open the flow to the applicator. We use the black ball valve to adjust the pressure on the nozzle by looking at the pressure gauge and the red valve will shut the treatment off. So once we're ready to start treating, turn on our pump, move the positional control in from the agitate into the treating position, we'll open up the red ball valve, we can fine tune our pressure with the black ball valve and continue treating, monitoring the pressure on the gauge. And then once we're done treating our batch, you move the red ball valve back into the closed position and move the agitation control back to agitate. At this point, we can just leave the product agitating for a few minutes until we're ready to continue with the new batch or move on. Here we're just going to have a close up look at the flow control valves. Again, the red one can be used to turn the treater on and off. And then the black one just used to fine tune and adjust your pressure. We're going to be moving product from a tote, in this case Apron Max, into our mix tank. To do this, we need to have our suction ball valve open and the ball valve on the bottom of the mix tank in the closed position. While doing this, we can have our treat agitate control in the agitate position on the pump. Here we've disconnected the Apron Max tote, switched off the, the ball valve on the suction, on the tote suction hose, and opened up the ball valve on the bottom of the mix tank so now we can agitate the product um, within the mix tank. Moving around to the front, the treat agitate positional control you can see is in the agitate position and here we have the treating control in the off position because we aren't treating yet and we have not hooked up the, the G40 or G3 applicator. So right now we're just agitating the product as we'll see here. So if you're going to start adding some other products to the tank, this would be a time you could do it. If you're adding cruiser, you could uh, pump it in the top and agitate the product um, right now. Looking at the flow control system while we're treating, we've got the flow valve, red flow valve open, 
and we're trading at about 21 PSI right now. We've determined from our charts, our calibration charts, and our grain flow that we need about 18 PSI. So using the black knob, we've just adjusted the flow on the nozzle to 18 PSI. When working with the transfer auger, we want to keep the flighting saturated with seed or heaped up with seed so that the, your transfer auger acts as the throttling mechanism for your seed flow instead of having the bin gate acting as your throttling mechanism. So keep your bin gate open so that you have a heap of seed on top of the flighting. As we look at the seed coming out of the applicator, you can see it's not really mixed thoroughly yet. As the seed runs up the auger, that is going to do the secondary mixing so it looks really good as it enters your truck or into a bin as we can see right here nice uniform application so as we start to near the bottom of the mix tank here we're starting to run out of product here the pressure is going to begin to drop so at this point we can just move the red ball valve into the off position without adjusting the black ball valve the reason we don't want to adjust the black ball valve right now so that when we do refill the mix tank and come back to start treating a new batch we will just turn our red ball valve back on and we should be back in that 18, 19 PSI range that we finished with. So that's why you want to use your red ball valve to turn the product on and off. So here we're just going to look at the system. We've got our transfer auger heaped with seed at the bottom there, running about 40, 41 bushels a minute through the transfer auger into the G40 applicator. Our mix tank with the high pro pump is pressurizing the nozzle in the applicator applying the treatment onto the seed, running through the Secundiac auger up into the truck and mixing the seed as it runs up the auger. Once we're up in the truck here, you'll see that the treatment is uniformly mixed and coated nicely, ready for your drill and ready to get into the field. As you saw, using the G40 system combined with the transfer option for moving product out of the totes and the dripless connectors that this is a clean and efficient system for treating your seed for yourself and your hired men thanks for watching this video on how to use the g40 treating system if you have any questions contact your seed care specialist from syngenta